हाई इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकेथॉन दिस हैकेथॉन इज नॉट अ स्मॉल अपॉर्चुनिटी लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज नॉट लाइक अदर हैकेथॉन्स दैट कंपनीज कंडक्ट वाई एम आई सेइंग सो दिस इज अ सिंगल कॉम्पिटिशन इन इंडिया विच कैन गिव यू द चांस टू कॉम्पीट विद टॉप कॉलेज विद आई आई टीज एन आई टीज बिट्स and you can be from any college beat any college you can compete with them not just compete with them you can actually beat them if your solution is that good and i'm not making this up my own batchmates defeated iit madras they stood first iit madras was second in this competition and alongside them my juniors whom i mentored they went to the finals of smart india hackathon they competed there they bagged the prizes i have a batch of juniors who again defeated iit madras fine so that is a chronology of my college and from that point of time i knew that this particular contest this particular hackathon has immense potential to give exposure not just exposure alongside that some wonderful opportunities to work with government of india to work directly with the ministries to have wonderful certifications to get guidance from the top mentorship top leadership and alongside that to have ample amount of opportunities to get recruited somewhere you can get various other benefits i'll dive in deep today let's understand everything about this fine so first of all what exactly is smart india hackathon this is an initiative this is a nation wide initiative by government of india to engage students in solving some of the most pressing challenges some of the most realistic challenges that are actually being faced in everyday life by various ministries by various people by various institutions of india fine and basically this hackathon is aimed to encourage students to think critically innovatively so that they apply their academic knowledge somewhere and get some good results and alongside that it just does, doesn't just offer you some opportunity to showcase your skills but also it allows you to collaborate with industry experts government experts government officers government institutions and the stakeholders which actually matter for government of india fine so if i go further and if i ponder upon what exactly this offers so the biggest thing is the prize money if you win you get 1 lakh rupees and i am not making this up my batchmate rajat bansal you can go ahead check that out on linkedin rajat if you're comfortable with your name being taken on this if you're not i'll personally speak to you on call fine but you can go ahead check it on linkedin he's a smart india hackathon winner and he had 1 lakh prize money i'm not making this up he's my batchmate so i know him alongside that there are opportunities to get internships from top government organizations fine if you are very good if you are presenting some actual solutions government would hire you as an intern fine so that that would give you a very promising certification for your resume a decent stipend and some wonderful opportunities to collaborate with the top leadership fine also alongside that if your solution is good enough you have a chance to register a startup as well fine so that is one more thing that this smart india hackathon offers to you this is the general timeline and i'll explain to you this timeline once you get this i'll tell you that when exactly i'll come back again to guide you on the same but if you want this ppt to be delivered to you all you need to do is you go ahead comment ppt below this video and in the replies you'll get the link to the telegram community that i personally handle and you'll get that ppt there also alongside that what you can do is you can find that link in the description box so wahan se bhi le sakte ho theek hai so in august generally in the august you have the problem statement launch the problem statements are various challenges which are posed by various ministries various organizations of government of india and once they are posted registration of spocs the single point of contacts in colleges happens fine and once it is done then internal hackathon takes place in the august september so basically some teacher or some single point of contact would be responsible in your college for this hackathon if your college doesn't know just go and inform your senior faculties your hods your directors that please conduct this in our college once the registration of spocs happens you go ahead in august september internal hackathon will 
will happen here you have to present your basic idea of solution you have to present what technology you will use to solve it if you can deliver a prototype great you can deliver in both stages here either prototype or ideation stage fine so you give it then report compilation would happen and uploading on portal would happen basically in internal hackathon some teams would be selected for the national level entry from the college then those entries would go to the national level they would be uploaded on portal nomination of top 45 plus 5 teams 5 waiting 45 uh, proper teams and submission of ideas on portal would happen then in september and october screening of ideas would happen that which ideas would be best for this and then in october the result publication happens that whether you are a finalist team or not then you will have a proper communication from sih's end that you are in the finalist teams and then you will be given further direction that go ahead and go for the mentoring and training sessions and then announcement of shortlisted students happens once that happens you go ahead and have a smart india hackathon grand finale where teams compete your team would get shortlisted that team would go further mentorship training everything would happen and then you'll have that particular grand finale where in your category of problem statement a lot of teams would compete and those teams would fight for the first spot second spot and third spot primarily but generally there is one winner that they declare who gets 1 lakh prize fine so that is the biggest advantage that you get here and this grand finale can actually not just add weight to your resume but also give you some paradigm shifting opportunities for your life fine also it is a very fun experience so you should not miss as a student alongside that what are the eligibility conditions all participants must be from the same college or same inter uh, same school inter college school teams are not permitted basically if you are from same institution then only you can be in a team members from different branches or disciplines within the same institution may form a team for example if you have two friends in mechanical engineering one in electrical and electronics engineering and one in civil engineering one in computer science engineering engineering you can form a team together there's no issue with that fine but you, your team members count should be six with one female at least now this is the very very important criteria because not just female having a female adds creativity adds a different angle of thinking to your uh, team but also it is for the women empowerment so in that since you have to think it alongside that the six people that you are getting in your team do not blatantly just go and take your friends don't do that if you want to win get the people who are damn good at their skills fine who are good in cooperation who are good in teamwork and who are good in their core skills that would help you out so how do you choose a team carefully for that i'll tell you what exactly you need fine for the hardware edition multidisciplinary teams are encouraged fine and for the software edition with focuses on digital product development it is mandatory that majority of the team members possess strong programming skills which basically means that if you are from csc if you are from ec beat any branch but if you are focusing on a digital product all of you should know good programming fine all of you should be good at programming skills now how do you figure out what kind of team to build for that mentorship is essential fine mentors are very essential and i always tell that there are two mentors that are allowed to you fine one mentor can be any senior faculty from your college but the other mentor that would come from industry is the most important mentor because industry mentor can be a game changer and that is why i have written this in bold industry mentor can single handedly lead you to the path of winning this competition one secondly if you have a proper industry mentor he can actually tell you what kind of balance you should keep in team so be very very careful what kind of mentor you are going to keep because in your team in your team itself here you will need a team lead as well so out of them out of these six out of six one is team lead fine you need to specify which one is team lead and this team lead would constantly be the pivot of that particular uh, 
team pivotal joint where everybody would be reaching out with their problems to him now you have to have a balance in your team you should have few people good in programming one should be very very good in orating one or two so that they can present things well fine because presenting is equally a criteria here not just solving the problem you have to present the problem as well somebody has to have good design skills so that you can pitch things well fine so in that case you have to make a team very carefully with skilled people and that six the squad of six should be very very balanced and very very accurate in execution fine so for that industry mentor can help you out in figuring your strengths in deploying your strengths accordingly dividing work that would help you out so industry mentor is super important now how do you get industry mentor simple approach your alumni network there be much much experienced people in your alumni network but if you don't have anybody from alumni network we at prep insta are open to offer you this industry mentorship i'll be there there are multiple other people who can guide you well fine in my team so for that we can provide you industry mentorship but first of all the most important thing is you go ahead and fill up the telegram community fine you join that telegram community and there you can ask for this mentorship when the sih would be announced in august if you want any industry mentorship from our side for example i am an expert in data science ai and ml if you want any mentorship from my side for your team i am open to it all you need to do is ping us on that telegram community that is in the description box so go ahead join that out fine so this is very very important alongside that which problem statement to choose now here again this is super important because as a team you should know which problem statements can actually take you to the next level which problem statements are usually more noticed usually every problem statement is somehow important to government and in every problem statements category you'll have a few uh, people who will be there who will be shortlisted but problems related to ministry of defense ministry of transport they are generally of always high priority ministry of social justice and welfare ministry of health they also carry huge weightage huge importance so getting the problem statements from these ministries is actually very good you must try that out also problem statements that offer opportunity to work on technologies like ml blockchain cyber security they can be much more valuable specifically on ml and cyber security if you can design any solution for government of india and if it is viable and working government would pay you anything to get that done first secondly government would want you to solve that problem to actually present a solution which is doable fine so alongside that problem statements that handle daily life challenges of a vast population again can be a promising problem statement for example if you can go ahead and check that out every year you will have a problem for road health for transport for avoiding accidents somehow or the other in the ministry of transport you will have this fine and in that case when you are trying and solving that you need ml you need ai you need data science fine so those are high value problem statements also anything that is impacting the vast population directly is definitely a very important problem statement think of it for example you are using a accident avoiding system you are trying to build that accident avoiding system by analyzing the cctv footage of the roads or the toll uh, plazas fine and there is one more problem where you have to design some museum tickets fine now out of them definitely larger population is affected by the toll naka problem so if you offer a viable solution there the chances of shortlisting are much higher fine so this is one thing you should be very very careful of and apart from this there is no big deal in sih this offers you an opportunity to go ahead and win go ahead and prove your metal over any institution in this country fine you can actually beat iits i told you examples that i have where my own batch mates beat them fine and i'll i'll show you i'll show you this wait let's go to the website of sih fine and this is the smart india hackathon if i go to the faqs portion and if i show you this what is the criteria of team formation so here it is clearly written that all participants are from same college as i told you everything is the same alongside that 
prize money i told you 1 lakh rupees in both categories whoever wins this fine and will this hackathon be organized digitally or in person so this is always in in person the idea screening is online the first stage which is idea screening after the internal hackathon when idea screening happens that happens online and finale is conducted in person in offline mode fine now how many mentors can you have you can nominate up to two mentors who can be any senior faculty and domain expert so domain expert can be anybody from the industry anybody from the market fine and now the internal hackathon needs to be organized on which date and what will be the process for that your spoc is responsible single point of contact is responsible so you can contact your college ppo cell or the people who are conducting it so you can find every inf information on this particular website whenever the registrations open for it fine right now the registrations are not open in august they'll open again and at that point of time generally in july august it opens and when this will open you have to be ready for this and before you get ready for this before this comes before the wave hits what you can do is go to the youtube channel of prep insta fine and you scroll in the video section you will find the top skills here you will find the top skills video here i'll show you you come to this video top 5 high paying skills here you have those skills which are highly useful in sih go ahead watch this video learn well then you see this top 5 final year project videos this will get you a hang of things how actually in industry projects are required i have given very relevant projects you build those projects you will get your hands comfortable on the technology and then try practicing a few projects more so that you are good with the technology and in these 6 months what you can do is you simply upskill yourself well and then straight away land up to the smart india hackathon fine so this hackathon can all together change your destiny your career path because the opportunities it offers the sheer validation you get after winning or after even being the finalist you will find so many people on linkedin writing smart india hackathon finalist why because being in the top 50 teams out of this country is a big deal so you might be having a wonderful solution that is why you are a smart india hackathon finalist fine so as a student it should be super important for you that smart india hackathon is a priority if you are somebody who is in third year if you are in fourth year i'll generally suggest focus more on placements not on smart india hackathon but if you are in second year third year please go ahead participate in the smart india hackathon even for the first year rights i will suggest go ahead you'll have some exposure there fine keep on working hard keep on doing good for other people as i always say good will come back to you and that's all pretty much about this video if you have any doubts anything go ahead in the comment section tell me those doubts i'll explain them to you join the telegram community channel if you want this ppt and alongside that you have to comment ppt in the ppt in the comment section and in that comment we'll reply you so alongside that you can also find the link to the telegram community in description box also follow us on all the social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update do like and subscribe if you're liking the way i am uh, delivering you things alongside that whoever needs this knowledge aap subscribe kijiye nahi kijiye aap bell icon dabaiye nahi dabaiye par sabse zaruri hai agar aapko lagta hai koi vyakti aisa hai jise ye knowledge chahiye aapka junior aapka senior please ja ke usko ye bataiye theek hai acha karte rahiye logon ke liye good will come back to you and that's always what i say have a wonderful day ahead thank you